Hello everyone and welcome back to another video inside of my awesome world. As you can tell, I am back to be my usual foxy self in my lovely netherite armour. So let's just go straight down to the other library because we've got quite a nice video today. Uh, all that we're going to be doing is just finishing off my uh, my lovely floral florist. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's going to be called, but I quite like that sound uh, name. Sorry about that, basically, um, yeah, my audio just cut out, so I've had to restart that little part, but that's fine. Uh, so yeah, so let's just go uh, straight down to the other library, here it is, and today I'm adding uh, Dave. Uh, you might have seen Dave from my Secret Sounds video. Dave's been one of my helpers for almost a year, I think. Um, and he, he's pretty good at helping and uh, he's always uh, been very loyal as well. So thank you, Dave, and welcome to my library. You're the second person to be added. So yeah, so let's go and get my Elytra as well as my fireworks. Let's equip that and then we can go all the way over to the uh, to the florist. So the plan for today is to finish off the uh, the florist. So we've done uh we did a pretty good job in the last video uh, we did have a few distractions with me uh, upgrading my armor and things uh, but in this video the other uh, plan is is to get this uh this entire shop finished uh in this video i have done a little bit of work outside the video and i'll show you what i've done basically i just did the uh, the ceiling uh with the random pattern between the light green and dark green wool and i also did the uh, the water and the mangrove leaves on the floor uh as well uh, I think I can't remember to be honest it was a little while ago uh, since I did the other uh, florist so I think I did that floor if I haven't uh, or did we do that in the last video I really can't remember but yeah but I've definitely done the uh, <laughs> uh, the ceiling I think I added in some frog lights as well uh, or did I do those in the last video I can't remember at all I've just hit this cover it's still as laggy as always and oh I just got launched and now I'm waiting for a chunk to load Still really like a not entirely sure what's causing that, but I'm sure at one point I'll get to the uh, the bottom of it. So yeah, so let's go over uh, to the um to the uh, to the the uh, the shop. So it's in here. Uh, as you can see, this is what it looks like. Uh, yeah, basically I've done the ceiling. Ah, we haven't done the floor. Yeah, as I said, it's been a little while since I did the last video, so I can't remember. So let's go and grab these uh, these mangrove leaves that we're going to be using. Where are they? Are they in? Oh, my controller just almost died here we go here are the mangrove leaves i'm using uh, mangrove leaves uh for two reasons the first is is i haven't actually used mangrove leaves much uh, the still mangrove is still a relatively new tree also uh, another is oh oh i can't place them in front i'm gonna have to do them on the side and oh i think i broke some some moss so let's just go in there place this back in uh, yeah another reason why is because it, it does look quite floral uh, and of course this is meant to be like a really overgrown looking shop so i think doing the uh, the mangrove leaves will look okay oh you can't actually um see through them as well as what i thought i was going to put some fish on the underneath and i have actually got some fish buckets and i was going to put some fish in the uh, the water but I don't know if there's any point now because you can't see them as well as I thought. I'm going to keep the other uh, glowstone here for now uh, just because it's lighting up the room. We are going to add in some, uh, some frog lights. I thought I did it before, but it looks like I forgot to. Uh, we are just going to add in some, I think we'll do some green frog lights. Uh, just to keep the uh, the entire shop looking very bright. And then we're going to have pretty much every single type of flower that I could think of in Minecraft. And do I have my shears? I do. Uh, my fancy enchanted five shears. Uh, yeah, basically, um, I'm going to try and add every single flower in. I know that in the uh, the 1.20... Oh, I keep placing these wrong. Yeah, I know in the 1.20 update, they're adding the uh, the sniffer. And then they're adding a whole load of new plants with the, uh, with the sniffer. So... Um, when they add that, I might uh, add those to this shop as well. Uh, but for now, I'm kind of just adding whatever I have on me already. Um, which is pretty... There is quite a lot of plants, actually. Uh, you can actually do a really good uh, florist uh, in Minecraft. Because there's so many plants and like decorations and everything. Uh, very A lot of nature stuff. So if you do want to do like some sort of 
uh, uh, florist uh, there is actually quite a lot of options and then we are also going to have a big counter as well a big wooden counter which i'm going to build out of normal dark oak logs uh, not stripped ones and then there's going to be some tills and then a lot of the uh, the uh, the countertops for the other uh, flowers are actually going to be made out of mangrove wood just to kind of fit with the other uh, leaves and then yeah then we can go and place down all of the other flowers and then there are some flowers as well uh, that are going to need uh water so we can have them in the middle but there we go that's all of the other leaves done so i guess uh what could we grab next let's have a look let's go and put these away uh i guess it's uh, i don't want to put my fireworks away i don't know why i put them in for uh so let's go and grab these fish buckets and uh let's see how well you can see these fish because i'm a little bit worried uh, that I won't be able to see them very well. Let's also grab these uh, these verdant frog lights so I can go and place these because I want to get rid of those uh, those glowstone blocks. So if I make sure these are all facing down, because uh, if you don't know, frog lights do orientate different ways. Uh, so I want to make sure that all of these are facing the same way. Uh, let's get rid of this uh, this glowstone. I'm not going to bother about salt touching it. I don't care at all. I should have probably kept the uh, that there. But let's see. Let's go and place all of these in. So I'm just putting one of each type. Yeah, you can't really see it that well, but at least I'll know it's there, uh, which is the um, the good thing. And, oh, I didn't keep any uh, mangrove leaves on me. Uh, where else could I add some frog lights? Because it's quite dark. I could do that there. Uh, I think, oh, I think I might need one in the middle and then move that one there. There we go. And then let's line this one up on the opposite side. And then that way I could put one there. And then what about here? Is that the middle? One, two, three, five, six, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Ah, it's a double middle, so I'm gonna have to do them there. And then let's line those up and let's do those on this side as well. I think the other green ones would make more sense than any other colour because you know the whole shop is green. <laughs> uh so you know, at the end of I could call the shop like Green Fingers or something. That might be a good name. Um But yeah, let's just go and uh, go and put all this away. And then let's go and grab this uh, this wool. Uh, also, I might go and start grabbing uh, some of these. Uh, which wood do I want? I want mangrove, don't I? And then let's also start. Uh, let's just go and put this down first. Uh, or actually, I might start. Um, uh, I forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, I was going to grab some dark oak wood for the other uh, countertop. <laughs> so let's just go and. Where should we have the counter? Uh, let's just go and place all of these uh, these mangrove leaves in. I think I'm going to have the counter along this back wall here, I think. And uh, let's do this out of, as, as I said, dark oak wood. And then we can just put this going the entire way. So it's going to be a pretty long counter. And then I think I'm going to make... Um, uh, I need a trap door. So let's make a dark oak trap door. I guess that would make the, uh, the most sense. I might also make some of this dark oak wood, just because I don't like how you can see the log on the side. So let's just put that there. There we go. That looks a little bit nicer. Um, and then let's make a, a dark oak trap door. I guess will look quite nice. Uh, oh, it's really laggy, as I said. So <laughs> it's really hard getting through these uh, these menus. Hopefully I'll be able to come across what is causing that lag. But there we go. Uh, that can go like that. And then what else could we... Uh, what else could we do? So let's start putting some of these mangrove logs along here. Like uh, like that. I might get rid of that end one, actually. I don't like uh, having that end one uh, there. So let's just go and just get rid of these uh, these end ones. And then I could have the next one can come along here like this. Uh, going the whole way along. Hopefully I've got enough uh, enough mangrove wood. Because uh, <laughs> I've only given myself one stack of this wood. So I'm hoping that I do have enough. I should do. I can't see why I why i won't so uh, i guess we can start um we can start going to go and place some of the other flowers down i guess would be quite nice so if we go and get um uh what could we get so let's go grab the uh, i need the flower pots that's pretty important so we've got these mushrooms i've also got uh, a sea pickle uh, I've also got uh, some warped vines, uh, some crimson vines as well, uh, whatever they're called, weeping vines. I've got a big drip leaf. I've got a little drip leaf as well. I've also got some cocoa beans. I've got some seagrass, uh, some glow lichen I thought was quite nice. Uh, what else have we got? Anything? I think that's okay for now. Uh, so, yeah, so let's just go and put all of these uh, these flower pots along here once again i hope i've got enough and not all of these are going to need to be flower pots as well because not everything can be put in a flower pot it's just quite nice because things like mushrooms and stuff spread uh so um it's nice to put them in a flower pot so let's have all the mushrooms together like that and then what else could we do let's go and grab some of the uh, the actual flowers i think would be nice uh because 
you know, at the end of the day, I think in a florist, I think people go more in there for flowers than they do anything else. So let's just go grab one of each. It's a bit annoying. I wish I hadn't given myself, like, a whole stack of these because uh, it's quite annoying that, uh, that yeah, that I've got all these. So let's just go and put all these other things away for now because I don't need those. Um, so let's just go and grab one of every different type of flower uh, as well. So I've got a blue orchid. I've got an allium. Uh, I've got, what else have I got? I've got an azure blue A, uh, one of those, one of those. Uh, let's also grab a, a wither rose, just in case you want a wither rose for whatever reason. Uh, let's go and grab uh, some tulips as well. Uh, what else have we got as well? I think that'll be okay for now. So let's just go and, uh, let's just go inside. Let's just go and put some of these in. So I guess we can put some over here, uh, like, uh, like that. And then let's go and, oh, I think I missed one on the ends. There we go. And then let's just go and grab some of these some of these other ones as well. So we've got these ones. These can all go in here. Uh, I've got some other ones I can put in. And then I've also got uh, a wither rose as well. So the wither rose can go there. Uh, is there anything else I could add? Oh, I've got the other twisting vine. So let's put that there. That will actually will grow. I can't put this one in a flower pot. Uh, let's also go and grab a, a weeping vine. And I can have those next to each other. Because I think that would make uh, the most sense. So let's go and grab a, a weeping vine as well. Uh, is there anything else that I could that I could add in? I'm trying to think as well. Like it's quite hard because there's quite a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, I could put some bamboo. Uh, I could put... Uh, uh, let's go and grab... Um, so anything else I could have? Let's go grab a cactus as well, as well as all these different saplings. I've also got these these bigger flowers. So I've got a sunflower, a, one of those. I've got a pony as well. I call them ponies. I know they're not actually called ponies. We've got wither sprouts, these like roots and all of these things as well. Let's go and just go and grab these. Uh, I've also got uh, these giant ferns and stuff as well. Just basically anything that's plant life we're going to have in this shop. Uh, so let's just go and... Um, Let's go and put all these these uh, these things in. And oh, you can see the uh, the weeping vines grew already, which is really cool. So let's just go and put all of these saplings in. I've also got the uh, the propagule as well. I don't want to forget about that. So yes, yeah, so we can have the other uh, propagule there. Then we've got the bamboo, and we can have the other uh, cacti, and then we've got the other uh, fern, don't we? As well. And oh, I did not mean to take that out. Uh, what else have we uh, have we got? So I think that's okay for now. Let's get rid of that one. And I can go and put the other uh, weeping vine in that one. Uh, once again, that one will grow uh, down to the other uh, floor. Because weeping vines can only grow on the other uh, ceiling. Uh, which is a bit annoying. I've also got normal vines and a lily pad. And just things like this. I've even got like a drip stone I thought was quite cool. Um, as well as a, a spore blossom. Which might actually be a little bit annoying. Because spore blossoms release a whole load of particles. <laughs> Uh, which is a little bit annoying, but that should be okay. Uh, we've also got the sea pickle. I don't want to forget about the sea pickle. Uh, we've got the... Uh, uh, what else have we got as well? We've got the... Here we go. Here's the other uh, weeping vines. I don't want to forget about those because they're, they're pretty important. Uh, weeping vines as well might actually be quite handy uh, because you might need them for... Uh, I might do a mini game out of them at some point because... They, they do have some pretty cool mechanics, same with the other twisting vines. But there we go, that one, one will grow. Uh, you can put these in our uh, flower pots, can't you? Those ones you can put in. Uh, we've also got the um, the sea pickle. I can break away this uh, flower pot and I can put that there. It won't glow because it's not in water. Uh, another spread, so I don't think you can put these in here, no. Uh, let's put, um, what can we put on the end here? Uh, I'll figure out something else that we could put there. And then in the middle, I'm going to use uh, rooted dirt for this. Uh, we're just going to do like a big uh, raised pile. Let's do it to about here. Let me just make sure this is symmetrical on all on all sides. I think that one needs to be broken away. And then this is where we could put all of the, the plants that need to be placed on dirt, I guess. Uh, I might even do some uh, some mangrove trap doors around afterwards, just, uh, just to make it look a bit nicer. So yes, yeah, so we've got these flowers. These can go like that. I've also got my peony, which can go there. Uh, I've also got this dripstone that can be facing down like that. I think that looks okay. And then uh, for the other uh, lily pad and a bunch of those things, I'll tell you what, we can have the uh, we can have the this here, the uh, the vine that looks okay. Uh, for the other uh, lily pad and a bunch of the other flowers, uh, some of them will need water. So I guess if I got any any water buckets, uh, here we go. There's a few water buckets here. Let's let's grab that spore blossom and some sugar cane. Let's get some kelp. Uh, what else have we got as well? Is that everything? I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Let's grab uh, one of these azaleas. Uh, they look quite nice. Uh, what else have we got? Is there anything else I can add in? Uh, oh, I was going to put down some candles, but I don't think I'll need them to be honest. <laughs> 
let's have a look oh we got some of these some of these grasses i could put some of these in um as well that looks okay uh what else is there is there anything else i think that's okay for now uh, so let's just go back in and let's go and uh let's go and put some of these other things in so i do have the uh, i want to put the water in about here ish i think uh, because the other uh, water is um we'll need for the sugar cane we'll also need it for uh for the lily pads and for some of the other uh, uh water grass as well so there we go if i make a source i can do that and then let's put the other lily pad on uh as well the kelp oh it's not letting me place the kelp it might be because the water's too shallow uh, the azalea, I can actually put in a flower pot. So I'll tell you what, what I could do is I could put down a flower pot like that and then put the uh, the azalea in like that. And then this one, I don't actually have the normal azalea, uh, but I could put the normal azalea in that one. Let's go and put down all these grasses like this. I think that will look okay. I've got the nether sprouts and uh, the spore blossom. I might put right in the very middle. Uh, it might get a bit annoying uh, just because of all the particles. It might go into other shops. It's a bit annoying that I can't put the kelp. What I might do is I might put an item frame on the floor. Uh, let me just check quickly. If I change the... Um, uh, let me think about this. <laughs> I'm trying to like really carefully um, think about this as well. And then here I can have a bunch of the, uh, the other things. So let's go and see what else I'm missing because I know that there are some plants. Like I'm not going to fill up this entire platform. There is room for like some future plants which I could put on there. Like as I said the 1.20 update is adding some new plants. Uh, so I could add some of those in. I have the other uh, cocoa beans. I also have the seagrass. Uh, a glow lichen. I also have these drip leaves as well. And I don't want to forget about those because they're quite cool. Uh, is that everything? I'm just trying to, uh, to double check. I'm looking for a jungle uh, log as well. Uh, I'll tell you what. We'll also... Uh, let's make some trap doors. Uh, let's make some uh, some uh, mangrove uh, trap doors. Uh, just so then I can put these going around the whole outside of the, uh, of the other dirt. Just because I don't really like how that looks. So... Uh, yeah, so we can go and put the other drip leaf in. Uh, where can I put this one? Uh, can I put it in... Is it because it needs to be on that? No. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what's causing that. What about these? Ah, oh, I could put down that. Okay. And then uh, we've got the, uh, the big drip leaf. That can go there. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the other uh, cocoa beans. I need jungle wood to place those on. Whoa, the vines are spreading. Uh, actually, I don't like that glow lichen there. Uh, where could I put the uh, the glow lichen? Because it needs to be on a wall. Uh, I'll tell you what, we could have that on the end here. There we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else could I add in uh, as well? So I've got the uh, the little drip leaf. Where could I put that one? Uh, oh, I might need to put it on. I think to place drip leaves, I think it has to be on dirt or clay. Uh, so let's go and uh, let's go and grab some of one of these uh, these rooted dirts, and I can uh, change that. I don't want to grab that. Um, yeah, let's just go back in and let's go and uh, let's go and grab all of this uh, this rooted dirt and let's go and see if we can place the uh, the small drip leaf on this. Uh, also, as well, I don't want to forget about these mangrove trap doors because I think these will look quite nice. Just because I don't like the uh, how the other uh, dirt is just kind of like in the middle, just like all open. <laughs> so uh, I think having some of these trap doors will be okay. And I think I've made slightly too many mangrove trap doors, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, so let's try, uh, if I break away that, let's see if this will work. There we go, now it works. So, yeah, uh, what else could I, um, what else could I add in? Uh, I could do some, uh, some, uh, some tills. So let's do uh, some mangrove tills, just because I don't want to do stone, because I'm trying to keep this all natural looking. And I guess stone would make sense, but stone bricks really wouldn't. So there we go, I think that looks uh, quite nice. And then uh, I could do like a big countertop on the back and I could have a bunch of uh, chests uh, where all of the different flowers uh, that are on sale, uh, all of those could be like uh, being sold uh, on these uh, these back areas here as well. So let's just go and uh, let's go and make some chests. Uh, let's use this uh, this mangrove wood, I guess, just because I haven't got much of it. And I'll, I'll need uh, a bit more dark oak as well. Uh, let's just go and make as many of these uh, these chests as I can. So let's just go and like, uh, just go and spread these along, and hopefully I'm gonna have enough. Or oh, hopefully this is gonna end up. Oh, I think I might need a few more. Uh, yeah, that should be okay. I might need to make like a barrel or something for the middle though, uh, just because I have a feeling that that's not going to fit in perfectly. 
Uh, so there we go. So then I could do those there, those there, and then in the middle, I might just do a uh, a barrel. I think will look quite nice. So let's make some uh, some sticks, and then let's make a half slab. Uh, there we go. We've got a a barrel uh, which can go right in the uh, the very middle, and then I think uh, that should be uh, the entire thing done. So let's break away my uh, my crafting table. I don't need this, and so I think this is the uh, the floor is done. So I've got room there for for, for some future plans. Uh, I was also going to do some banners with the other uh, name of the shop. But yeah, thank you all for watching and I will see you all at some point.